a process that many of you will uh, have never heard of before, and, and just the opportunity to share uh, something so fun and exciting in this industry that also transcends the automotive industry. I don't know that uh, anything in my life has ever given me more pleasure than the fun that we're about to share with you. It's called um, Hydrographics and Custom Coatings. And here with us to talk about those is Dave Whalen, uh, uh, co-owner of Hogskins. Uh, Dave, welcome back to our show. Thank you, sir. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you. You know, Hydrographics, that's the department that you are really responsible for at Hogskins. Um, I think we say the word and hydro and graphics kind of say water and art. Uh, but let's really talk about and uh, describe the medium called hydrographics, what it is uh, to somebody who's never heard the term. Okay, well, it actually got its start, Mitch, many, many years ago, probably several decades ago, in the auto industry. And you, a lot of your car owners out there today, they'll be driving a very nice car and it has, say, a wood grain look inside your car. That's where hydrographics actually got its start. Um, and it's just evolved. How it works, how the process in itself comes in effect, is it's actually a film a very thin film that looks, say, like uh, something you took a picture from, old school days, you know, where you're looking through it kind of a thing. And it's, it's a, a graphic art that has now been inked onto a, a very fine film. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't even exactly know what that film is. Uh, but what it is, is it's rolled out old school, inked in how, one or two, three different, how many ever colors it is and design it is that's been done graphically. And now we take it, take that film, cut it to the size, set it in a vat of water that's heated. A lot of people already know that this exists. They just don't know this whole process. So then we'll take your object, say like a dash piece for your classic car or uh, the microphone you're talking into right now. We would then prep it to where this ink would now s go down underwater. Then the process basically etches itself into our process and now becomes permanent. Well, and I, I love this because you have a video on your website uh, that shows this process, and it's fascinating because really water is a very dense uh, uh, medium, and when you push something down into it, the pressure of that water pushes the art up against the item that you're dipping in it. That's correct. And that's how that transfer occurs. But what's also really interesting is that very thin translucent film that you're talking about, uh, you put an activator on it, and what happens if you watch this vi this YouTube video on his website, uh, which we'll give you in just a minute, um, you put this activator on it, and then the film simply disappears. It, it, it dissolves, and you have this um, graphic art, this image, whatever it is, and we're going to talk about all the different images they can put in there, just floating. The, the ink is floating, and that's when you then press down into it, and it etches permanently into this item. That's correct. The pressure of the water just wraps itself around it. It gets into tiny cracks, crevices, holes, circular motion, you name it. it the, whatever the water's going to pressure, push it up over as you're pushing down, literally wraps itself around it. Yeah, so if you have a rounded edge or something that comes over and back down inside of itself, this will wrap all the way around it and completely cover it, not just a flat surface that first touches it. That's absolutely correct. Um, and it's really, you, it, you've you got to go to the website and check this out because it's fascinating to watch. And it is truly, like I said, so, so much fun for me to, to share the, this resource with our community that I'm sure that right now there are hundreds if not thousands of our listeners right now that are just going, wow, I've never even heard of this. I've got to look, check it out. Um, but the graphics part of it, it, hydro being the water transfer and then the hydrographics being the art. I want to really take some time because we're on radio. It's a, a, the type of art that's available, the graphic art that's available is phenomenal. You said it started with wood grains, which is some of the art that's available, but it's not just like, you know, the old paneling in your house wood grain. There are how many different styles of wood grain that you can dip on something? There's probably eight to 900 different types of wood patterns available. And so we're not talking paneling, looking, fake, looking. These are real, genuine looking wood patterns that when they're pressed on something, you would be hard pressed if you didn't know to tell that it wasn't real wood. That's correct. And, and it's that kind of art. I mean, that you couldn't pay a graphic artist hundreds of Uh, that kind of um, 
natural, real, genuine looking wood pattern. Well, you can. You're just going to pay for it. Oh, but, well, <laughs> this is, we'll get to that because this is such a fraction of the cost. That's what's so exciting about it is all the different things you can do with it and how affordable it is. Um, and let, let, let's go there because you have both personal applications and you have commercial business applications. And I, I think that, and it transcends automotive, it's just about anything in your living environment. Like you said, the microphone and the microphone stand and our keyboards and our computer towers. Let's talk about the uh, applications that a, a, an a average consumer could apply this to in their world and beautify their space. Okay. Uh, you, you've actually seen this. It's been done. Your cell phone, cell phone covers, iPads, your computers, computer towers, your keyboards, your game controls for your kids, light switches in your house, in your room. Well, well I want to stop you there for a second because that really gives an opportunity for us to talk about how affordable it is. You have somebody that brought you about 20 different light switches for their entire house, right? Well, actually, it was two full bedrooms, light switches and outlet covers for their kids' bedrooms. And we're, we're dipping those in, a, in a one set in a pink what they call muddy girl pattern so her room will be painted to match something to go along with it and it's an it's an actual camouflage pattern but it's pink so it's really very popular for girls and and women and the boy he likes skulls so we have he has yet to pick out a skull pattern but we're going to pick out a skull pattern and dip that and it'll be probably in a candied blue color and yeah it's extremely affordable i'll probably be able to do the whole set of room for fifteen twenty dollars to do the whole room, you know, give or take, we haven't actually added them all up yet. And and so you really do it by the inch. So if you've got something that's three inches tall by two inches wide, you consider that five inches, and it's like two ninety five uh, an inch. An inch, correct. Uh, yeah. So it's really reasonable. And then one of the cool things is is if you, if you have something like switch covers and outlet covers, you can tie them all together and put them in one dip. Correct. all at the same time and reduce the size necessary to dip yeah, them Yeah, that way we can save us time and them money. And that's really what it's all about. We want it to make it affordable. We want it to think about it like you're getting an, a very fancy airbrushed look, but, but not even close to that cost. Pen pennies and fractions of exactly. the cost. And I'm not trying to take away from the airbrush artist because we have yeah, one. Yeah, you do that but, too. Exactly. There, but it's there's things that are not necessarily always available in a pattern that you may have that's custom that you want to have airbrush art. But if you want to take something that's really rather ordinary in your living environment and make it extraordinary um, for a very uh, a cost-effective way exactly. without having to pay that, you know, uh, that cost of of air professional exactly. airbrush artists. and I like artists. to take something old and make it look new again. Uh, and since you're in the auto industry, let's say that you've been driving around your car for 15 years and you love your car and it fits you, but all of a sudden your interior, your dash and stuff is fading. We can take that plastic material and renew it for you with a very cool pattern, something that matches with your car, goes with your base color. Uh, we can do that for you. We can redo your rims. We can dip your rims. You like actually I've done did that. Mine. I did. I did my own Escalade rims. And uh, they're pretty cool if you want to look it out on the website. And uh, I'm rolling with skulls. Very shocking. <laughs> Weird. Not everybody <laughs> likes it. But it's a shock factor. Well, you know, and there's some people that are, have these cars out there with a lot of carbon fiber. And that's another one of the patterns as well. So you could do your wheels and they would look like real carbon fiber. It again. is our most popular. It surpassed the wood grain. It's our most popular pattern. It's called True Weave Carbon Fiber. And if, if you were to lay a real carbon, $1,000 carbon pe fiber piece next to ours, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference except for the weight because carbon fiber is extremely light. Right. And, and, but you stand back, uh, you know, six inches and you're going, is that real carbon fiber? Exactly. And I am, we actually know somebody that did this to their entire motorcycle for literally one third of the cost of real carbon fiber. And they're not worried if it gets a little chip or a scratch on it because they can touch it up easily. Exactly. Have that, that panel redipped or something Absolutely. without having to to buy a whole kit. Um, let's talk back, you go to the applications because I want people to look around there, the space they're in, the environment they're in right now, and really see all the places that they could use this. So you did a keyboard, for an example, for a computer, and uh, you were talking about automotive. So let's talk about all the things you've done in the automotive applications and then some of the 
uh, uh, taxidermy and things like that. Okay. Well, you can start on just an individual car. We can do your rims or, say, the caps, hubcaps, if you just have a, a regular set of hubcaps. Go around your car. Your emblems, we can do your emblems, and they can be really blingy. Uh, the, the, your uh, windshield wipers, we've done some of those just to be different. We've done entire engine compartments, both metal and plastic, Valve covers, things that don't get any higher than 270 degrees. Uh, interior pieces, dash pieces. Uh, uh, your classic car guys, they're really good with us because they like that I want it different than anybody else has. So we can take a wood grain and we can tweak the color. And then that wood grain that would have been over here was a, a semi-brown. Now is a total marbleized mahogany look same pattern different base color and so it totally changed that element well, of that thing. thank you because i didn't mention that you can actually put a base color candy colors and uh, metallics and then lay this film on top of it and now you've got this you know very uh bright you've done things in neon or highlighter yellow highlighter yellow who would have thought and then we clear coated it with a glow in the dark so you set it out in the sun or get some really good bright light on it, turn your light off, you can walk around without banging your knee up. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just about anything you can think of in your environment that can be dipped in water and taken out, or the case can be taken off, dipped in water and taken out. Correct. And then put the case back on. Even the electronics, like you said, computer towers, that boring gray uh, desktop computer tower that sits underneath and it's always an eyesore. You can bling it up and make it really something that you enjoy looking at. That, exactly. That decorates your room. Exactly. Challenge me, please. We've done, we've done guns, gun stocks, scopes, rifles. We've done patterns for the doomsday preppers where you can't even see them after it's done. We've done animal skulls, taxidermy. I love that. That's my favorite thing. I think it's thing. one of the coolest things I've ever seen yeah, that you I'm, do. I'm sorry. White is boring. Hey, you guy out there that has that white skull on the wall, I dig you, okay? I appreciate how hard it was for you to hunt that baby down. Bring it back to me. I'll bling it. You'll notice it, and your wife won't, she won't be so offended because it actually has some color. Well, and, you know, you've done some. I, I saw one of the, the, the taxidermies that you dipped. You've done them in candy colors and camouflages. And, I mean, there's a thousand, uh, more than a 1,000 patterns that you have to choose from. Um, and that's another thing that would take probably a whole hour show, show to talk about all the different patterns. They really need to get with you to, to find out all the choices they have. But one of the coolest things I've ever seen is this taxidermy where you dipped it in a um, a, a snake skin, like rattlesnake print, and then the horns come out of it. And it was beautiful. It really, like you said, it transformed that into real art. Thank you. Thank you very was, much. Actually, it was fun to do. Uh, we got with the owner of that. It was a, a ram, a Nevada ram. And uh, he had actually had the taxidermy take the horns off, gave it to me stripped and clean. Um, we tweaked around the base color to where we could get that Nevada uh, rattlesnake base look. We found it. We dipped it. We cleared it over in a gloss finish, not a dull finish. He put the horns back on it and hangs it on his wall and gets a ton of comments on it. Well, one of them that I saw, you actually did a little bit of an insert in the sockets of the eyes, and it made it almost look like it was looking at you. It's like some of the things that you can do around this so affordably to really enhance even the print is yes. extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You really got to look at this online or, or see Dave uh, to really get a a, a, a full presentation of what this can do to transform your world. Uh, but also business owners that have uh, commercial equipment that they want to brand and, and have recognized, a very affordable way to get that out there too. Absolutely. We are a sponsor of a Nevada semi-pro football team, both men and women. Sorry, I don't know if I can say the name, but I don't think there's very many out there. We're doing their helmets for them, and uh, they totally dig it. And I think that... Uh, all the, the players I know love it, but I'm hoping that their fans are going, wow, that's pretty cool. Nobody's ever but seen But they don't even know before. where it came from. They think this is something they ordered online out of a catalog and had shipped or custom made or airbrushed, and it was dipped locally by uh, Dave Whalen over at Hogskins. Um, and again, it's uh, affordable, so you do maybe pay for a setup of your own logo pattern, whatever it is that you want that's very unique to your business. Set it up once, and then it's yours. You own that pattern. That's correct. Yep. Um, affordable, uh, just a pleasure having you on back on the show uh, Thanks, just to Mitch. share this with our community. How they get hold of you, Dave? 
Just call me. Uh, it's Dave Whalen. It's uh, 775-338-7147. Or you can call my son, Chris. He is also the other owner of Hogskins. It's 830-1630. Or you can go on our website, www.hogskins, with a Z, dot com. That's H-O-G-G-S-K-I-N-Z. Dot com. And you can find them, again, on our website, thecarbuyeradvisor.com. Uh, and if you forget that, just email me at info at thecarbuyeradvisor.com, and I'll get it for you. Um, thank you so much for